56% of people voted for the existing flag and just 43 for the new design based around a silver fern. Proponents of change, including the Prime Minister John Key, had argued the current flag with the Union Jack in the corner was a throwback to a colonial era and not appropriate for a long independent nation. We are naturally a little bit disappointed that the flag didn't change tonight, but I think there's a huge amount that New Zealanders can be very proud of. For a start off, we had a record turnout in the number of people who posted uh, their uh, ballots back and returned them, 2.2 million New Zealanders. And 70% of New Zealanders still have British roots, with many feeling the current flag reflects those strong cultural and historical ties. I mean, what you have to say is that people on the final analysis and on a majority basis decided that they thought that our history as a British colony and the Union Jack you know, fitted better and sat better with us than taking a step into you know, a world where we would have the silver fern. Supporters of change were tonight left drowning their sorrows. But many Kiwis appear to have simply not warmed to the new design. So after a year-long campaign and a process that has cost tens of millions of dollars, the end result, no change. New Zealanders have opted for the status quo. Most here believe the flag issue will now be put to bed for the foreseeable future and will only come up again if this country is to opt to ditch the monarchy and become a republic. John Donison, BBC News,